Hope's Gift by Kelly Starling Lyons Illustrated by Don Tate It's 1862, and the Civil War continues to drag on. Hope's father must say goodbye to take part in the fight for freedom. Hope's father leaves behind a special gift for Hope, a conch shell that sings the song of freedom, a beacon of hope in these dark times. The song sings, nothing can keep freedom from coming, nothing. Hope seems lost while her father is away at war, almost as if nothing is remaining to wait for. But there is hope from news of Abraham Lincoln signing the Emancipation Proclamation. On January 1st, 1863, President Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation. Though it did not abolish slavery, it served as a beacon of hope for freedom. It served as the change of meaning for the Civil War as it became known as the war to end slavery and save the Union. This led to the transformation into our present day country of the United States of America. Celebrating 150 years of freedom, please join me in reading Hope's Gift, a beautiful story of unwavering hope in big times of American history and the remembrance of the passing of the Emancipation Proclamation. Starling Lyons' Hope's Gift is a poetic and moving story. The beautiful illustrations in this book bring the story to life in a way that is quick to catch your eye and connect to the characters. Kelly Starling Lyons grew up in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. She became inspired to write children's books from reading Something Beautiful by Sharon Dennis Wythe. The inspirational experience sparked motivation to develop her own voice in her writing. A few of her other books are Sing a Song, How Lift Every Voice, and Sing Inspired Generations. Dream Builder, the story of architect Philip Perlon and going down home with daddy. Don Tate grew up in Des Moines, Iowa. He currently lives in Austin, Texas. Don is not only an illustrator, but an author of many great works such as Strong as Sando, How Eugene Sando Became the Strongest Man on Earth, and Poet, The Remarkable Story of George Mos Moses Horton.